right, what is up, you guys? Back for probably the last video of the year, 2018, and it is a collection video. Realize that I have not done one this year, and they're always kind of fun to do, kind of share what's in the collection and see see how it's changed from last year. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with up there with that top shelf. Let's go. All right, so before we get started, to the left of the movies, we've got the bookshelf. We've got a popcorn container thing from Disneyland. Got some MonsterVerse posters over there in the corner, Lord of the Rings. And yes, that new trailer for uh, Godzilla looks amazing. The first one was amazing. This new one looks great. Um, a horribly painted bulldog from... Uh, I forget what it's called. Painted Mine, Color Me Mine, Color Me Mine, that's it. Yeah, we've got some Lord of the Rings, we've got some Game of Thrones, Harry Potter, Stephen King, just kind of a mess of different things, some comics and whatnot over there. We've got Godzilla hanging out in the corner. So let's get to that top shelf. All right, so the top shelf is mostly uh, Pop Funkos and box sets and whatnot. Big Superman fan, so we've got some Superman Pop Funkos up there. Then we've got the Halloween, the kind of mega box set. I believe that it's uh, that's the 15 disc one. I was also lucky enough to get the poster that uh, Scream Factory was offering with it. We've got the Halloween 4K, the Halloween um, that one I picked up at Walmart, the retro VHS cover. These two I've had in the collection for a long time. Uh, drive with the special UK slip cover which is embossed and then the attack the block glow in the dark the slip cover those are two of my favorites love those then we've got the Ten Commandments box set that was picked up at Best Buy several years ago for like 10 bucks super cheap we've got the peanuts uh, pop funkos love those there's another one in here somewhere then we've got Michael Myers, Jason, and of course, Freddy. All right, now on to the Digibooks. Love Digibooks. They're probably, as far as like specialized physical media, that's probably my favorite. Start off with Apocalypse Now. 300. 300 should probably go first. Alien Covenant. Batman vs. Superman. I didn't mind Batman vs. Superman. I don't mind the DC movies. I mean, they're not, you know, super, super fantastic, but I think they're good. Big Lebowski, E.T., Goodfellas, Green Mile, Jaws, Justice League. I like Justice League. It's silly, but I like it. Logan, Man of Steel. Love that one, too. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Homecoming, uh, the 70s version of A Star is Born. I have the 50s version in Digibook, but it's actually in the other room. Uh, Suicide Squad, saw the new Star is Born, and uh, I like that one quite a bit. And then Wonder Woman. Then we've got Thanos hanging out right here. These are more of the complete collections or the box sets. So we've got the Alien Anthology. Avatar, Back to the Future, Close Encounters, this is a nice set, Godfather, Indiana Jones, Jurassic World, Matrix, Mission Impossible, I just saw Fallout for the first time uh, a few days ago, I didn't see it in the theaters, it was very good. I can see why everyone dug it. Planet of the Apes box set. This is nice. Rocky. Superman set. And the Terminator set. Then we've got some Lord of the Rings. Absolutely love Lord of the Rings trilogy. Hobbit trilogy. Mm, not as much. Uh, but that is the um, DVD set. Then we've got the Blu-ray set, the extended Blu-ray set, 
the Hobbit Blu-rays. Those are the regular cuts. And then these are the uh, extended cuts, actually. Like that. Then we've got some Star Wars. Complete Saga. Solo. Solo was fine. You know, people complained about it, but it was fine. Rogue One. I enjoyed Rogue One. These are the uh, despecialized versions of the original trilogy. Force Awakens. That is the collector's edition of Force Awakens. This was the Target exclusive, which is kind of a trifold type thing. And then the Best Buy uh, exclusive steelbook of Force Awakens. Then we move over to some Godzilla. These are all of the Godzilla films in the original language with English subtitles. Um, I printed out some cover art. And, you know, we've got all the different series separated. Then we've got the 2014 Godzilla. I enjoyed 2014 Godzilla. Uh, I thought it was it was really good. Uh, King Kong, Peter Jackson's King Kong, and then Skull Island. Then we've got Doctor Strange, separating, and then we've got the Harry Potter films. I'm not going to go through all those. You guys know the Harry Potter films. And then uh, Fantastic Beasts here at the end. Kudos to Warner Brothers for keeping continuity with the slipcovers. You know, we don't have, and these are in reverse for some reason. Anyways, I got to reverse those. But um, I like the continuity with those lip covers. It looks good. Willy Wonka is the separator, and then we get into horror. Since I am up against the wall right here, I'm going to have to take it from this angle. So we've got 28 Days Later, uh, Alien vs. Predator, and then Requiem are in there. Attack the Block, that's a wonderful film. Chopping Mall. That one's a lot of fun. Uh, the Conjuring films. Love those. Exorcist 3, The Fog, uh, the Friday the 13th collection, all the films in there. Fun Size. That's a good Halloween family film. Haunted Mansion. Hereditary, one of my favorites from this year. I've got a space here for the house and the clock in the wall or whatever the hell it's called. Jaws 2, 3, and then Revenge. Krampus. Monster Squad, Monster House, Night of the Living Dead, Criterion. We've got all of the Paranormal Activity films. Psycho, the 50th anniversary, Psycho 2, Psycho 3, and then 4. Uh, the Scream film set. Spooky Stories, which is uh, the universal kind of cartoons. You've got uh, Monsters and Aliens, Shrek. That's kind of fun. Uh, they Live, The Thing, this is the Arrow release, this is the Scream Factory release, and then you've got the uh, the prequel, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil, the newer Legacy Collections on Blu-ray, I don't have Creature yet because um, it was recalled, I something had to do with the picture quality, I think, or the, the timing on the audio, so I'll wait until that one's re-released. Uh, the e True Hollywood Stories of Poltergeist and the Exorcist, uh, Scary Godmother cartoons. Then we've got Tower of Terror, Trick or Treat, Under Wraps, and Witch's Night Out. One of my favorites growing up uh, to watch around Halloween time. Got my 49ers outdoor thermometer, but I just leave it in here. This is the little Stephen King section. Uh, my son is especially is a huge Stephen King fan. The younger one, so I separated those films for him. So we've got The Cell, the original It, the new It with the lenticular cover, a Maximum Overdrive. This is a wonderful release. Vestron did a great job with that, and uh, Red Letter Pictures. Red Shirt Pictures. Red Shirt Pictures, not Red Letter. Uh, Misery, Pet Cemetery. I've got one, and then the DVD for two in there. Salem's Lot, The Shining, 
looking forward to uh, Dr. Sleep. I know that's going to be coming out, I think, next year. 1408, Dolores Claiborne. You've got three flicks in there. Shining It and uh, Salem's Lot. Those are the TV versions. You've got this one, six film collection. And then this is kind of a bigger set. Silver Bullet. I think Silver Bullet's on blue right now. Now we've got Jack Sparrow as the separator. We get into action and sci-fi. Baby Driver. Day the Earth Stood Still. Dunkirk. Hexar Ridge. The Bond films. I printed out uh, cover art for these because I used to have the big box set. So that's all those in there. John Carter. Both John Wick films. Lone Ranger, which I think is, uh, we really dig this one. It's a shame it didn't do well. Lucy, Mad Max movies, National Treasure movies, Pirates movies. I'm not going to pull all those out. You guys know all the Pirates movies. Prometheus, Ready Player One, Monticular Cover, Signs, Split, the Star Trek films, Super 8, Superman, this is the one with the extended cut, Swamp Thing. I got this autographed at Comic-Con, oh goodness, years ago, three or four years ago. Terminator Genesis, the Tremor films, Tron Legacy, boy, I wish they made another Tron. We'd like that one as well. Unbreakable, War of the Worlds, and Zero Dark Thirty. And then I separate the Blu-rays from the DVDs. So we've got <laughs> Angels Dance, that one's, that one's a doozy. Gleaming the Cube, Runaway Train and Convict Cowboy, Tombstone. This is a great set. I love the Vista series. Yeah, wonderful job with the, with the Vista series titles. And there weren't that many. Uh, the Village. I don't believe The Village is on Blu-ray yet. We've got Wolverine, Logan as the separator. Now we get into drama. Argo, August Osage County, Carol, Boogie Nights, Casino, Creed. Still need to see Creed 2. Deer Hunter, uh, Friday Night Lights, the movie. Hesher, this is a great one. Home for the Holidays. Try to watch that at least every year. I think we're alone now. This is kind of a, a sleeper. It came out this year, 2018. Uh, love it. Last Flag Flying. Another one that people don't really talk about too much, but that's a wonderful film. Lost in Translation. Manchester by the Sea. Nightcrawler. Passion of the Christ. Purple Rain. The Runaways. Saturday Night Fever. Shutter Island, Spectacular Now, uh, Stars Born, that's the original, Vanishing Sydney Hall, The Way, Wolf of Wall Street, You Were Never Really Here, dug that one, The Apostle, Apostle needs a Blu-ray release, most of these here don't have Blu-ray releases, this, I, I like The Apostle. Dangerous Minds. I mention this, I think, every year, but the only reason I keep this one is because it was mostly filmed at my old high school, and it is a total 180 as to how they depict it in the film. Just cracks me up. Green Street Hooligans. Morning. This movie's sad as shit, but it's good. Over the Edge. One of my favorites growing up. Can't have a collection without pure countries. Station Agent. Love that one. Urban Cowboy. And Z Channel. Then we've got Han Solo set as the separator, and we get into comedy. All right, we've got we've got Anchorman one and two. Glad to see the first couple barbershops get uh, Blu-ray treatments. So we've got Barbershop one, Barbershop two, and then the third one was already on blue. Uh, Bill and Ted movies and Blades of Glory. Ed Wood, one of my favorites. That's a great one. Fast Times, Galaxy Quest, Game Night, very funny, Get Hard, 
heat, the heat, hot rod, land of the lost, silly, but we have fun with it. Uh, both Greek wedding movies. The Proposal, The Rocker, Rush Hour Movies, Scott Pilgrim, Sisters, Step Brothers, Talladega Nights, Tropic Thunder, Valley Girl, so happy to see that uh, get on Blu-ray this year, The Wayne's World Films, and then you've got um, Edgar Wright Trilogy. Borat, still isn't on Blu-ray, Bringing Down the House, Kicking and Screaming, Summer School, and The Wildlife. Then we've got Crow T. Robot as the Separator, and we get into superhero films. Um, you guys have seen all of these a bajillion times, so I don't think I have to pull them out, but we've got the Ant-Man movies, Avengers movies. This is the, I like this cover, this, or the set. This was the Target exclusive, and I think it's the, uh, yeah, this is the Digipack version. Uh, the Batman movies. Batman Superman, Black Panther, Captain America's Dark Knights, Deadpool. This is a really good documentary. Uh, the Death of Superman Lives. Uh, the Death of Superman Lives, What Happened. Very good, very, very good. Talks about um, kind of what happened and why the Tim Burton Superman was never made. It was never completed. Uh, unfortunately, the the gentleman who made this documentary passed away earlier in the year. Uh, Doctor Strange, we've got all the Fantastic Fours, Green Lantern, Guardians 1 and 2, the Hulk films, the Iron Man films, Man of Steel, the Thors, saving this space for um, Venom, that comes out next week, and Turtle Power, the documentary. We've got Tom Servo rocking it here. We've got some family films. Aladdin. Uh, I'm curious about the live action Aladdin that's coming out next year. Uh, Alice in Wonderland, Atlantis, Beauty and the Beast. And you guys have seen these a million times. Fantasia. This one, this one uh, is curious to me as to why Disney pulled it so quick. It, it was out and then it was out of print. So if you find a Fantasia set with Fantasia in 2000, pick it up. Ah, uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox. The Freaky Friday films, which are only available through the Disney Movie Club. Uh, grew up loving the original. And the new one I really, really enjoy. Or the newer one. It's old now. G-Force, Isle of Dogs, uh, Jingle All the Way, and whatnot. We've seen those. Then we've got uh, Batman watercolor picture that I got at a con a couple years ago. And then carrying on with the family section, we've also got all of the Studio Ghibli films that were released by Disney. Uh, the Peanuts Holiday Specials, Christmas Classics, then we've got some other Christmas films here. I've seen this one, this Disneyland Fun sing-along songs about 40,000 times. My older boy would just watch it over and over and over again. We know all the songs. We know everything in this video. And it's fantastic. Fire and, Fire and Ice. Mickey's House of Villains. Popeye. Oh, Frankenstein is separating the TV on Blu-ray section. Uh, we've got American Horror Story, the first three seasons, which are the ones I enjoy the most. My favorite being the first. And I will get the new one when it comes out, Apocalypse. I enjoyed the, this latest season. Avatar, the complete series, Freaks and Geeks on Blu-ray. Friday Night Lights on Blue. You'll see I have it on DVD later on. That's because Mill Creek didn't port over the special features uh, to the Blu-ray. So we've got the Game of Thrones sets. Gravity Falls, kudos to Shout Factory. This is a wonderful set. And we've got Legend of Korra, the complete series. MST, the movie. The Reunion Show. Uh, we've got Clone Wars, Rebels. And then we get into the uh, TV on DVD section. 
So we've got number one ladies detective agency. That was a, that was a fun series. It was only one, one season, but it was good. 21 Jump Street, the complete series. If you want the complete series with the original music, you have to get the German version. Early edition complete series was finally released. I think previously it was only seasons one and two on DVD. Everybody Loves Raymond. I just put them, I made cases and then put them in smaller, smaller packs. Takes up too much room otherwise. Uh, Friday Night Lights on DVD. Then we've got Invader Zim. Johnny Quest, and then a whole mess of Mystery Science Theater. Now, I made my own cases for these because while the Rhino and Shout Factory sets are wonderful, they are, obviously, they're not in order. So if I want to watch a season one episode, I kind of have to go searching. Now, you know, if I'm in the mood for season one, I can just pick up season one and I've put all the episodes in there. So, you know, starting with like the KTMAs and going all the way through um, season 10. Um, I have tried watching the, the new season or new seasons because I think they're on 12 now. It's not for me. It's just not for me. Um, but I think it's awesome that they're continuing the show. So we've got... The original release on DVD, the, uh, the, looks like I've got two versions on DVD. These are all the cinematic Titanic releases. Um, then the live versions, the film crew, they had four DVDs. This is one of the Riff Tracks ones, Guy from Harlem, the Frank, North and South, and then the Office Complete Collection. Down here we've got... I'll have help if I put it on camera. Over the Garden Wall, Roseanne, uh, the complete series. Um, Scooby-Doo, got some Clone Wars, complete Clone Wars, Teen Titans, Trouble in Tokyo, and then we've got the Tremors TV show. I have a few steelbooks. Those are Back to the Future. The Grease steelbook, which is wonderful. We've got Grease 2 on Blu-ray. The Guardian's Best Buy Steelbook, which is awesome. Return of the Living Dead from Overseas. The Planet of the Apes trilogy on in Steelbook. The first two I had forever, and then Best Buy at first didn't announce that they were putting the third one on in Steelbook, but finally they did. The Stranger Things box sets, wonderful. Love that they continued with the VHS look. It's a good looking. It's a good looking uh, set. Good show. Looking forward to season three. Then we've got movies that I still need to watch, and I'm sure there are probably some in here from last year that I just still haven't watched. So that's going to be rectified in the coming year. We've got a few VHS tapes, uh, Freaks and Geeks autograph CD. I found at uh, Rasputin Records for ninety five cents. And we've got the angry guy from Inside Out. I somehow relate to him. And uh, there's Yoda, Star Wars calendar. We get down here and some Pop Funkos. These, this is a four. <laughs> Whoa. This is a set of four from Disneyland, uh, the Haunted Mansion set. Got that last year, I believe. Got some CDs. I kind of keep everything media related on this rack I'm not gonna go through the CDs but there we go I got a few cassette tapes that I've found over the years DVD sign I've had that forever uh, some blank DVDs CDs that's the holder we use to when we record in the car old school cassette player down here we've got a couple PS4 games and then empty DVD cases, multiple Blu-ray cases. That holds two, and that's single. At the very bottom, we've got the Infinity Gauntlet set. It has all of the uh, trade paperbacks that are related to the Infinity Gauntlet story. It's a wonderful set. And then finally, we've got the Halloween Laserdisc, Mama's Family box set, and the Freaks and Geeks yearbook set. 
So that, that's it, you guys. Thanks for coming along with me on this, uh, the 2018 collection video. If you have any questions, comments, anything, uh, just drop me a message down below. And uh, hope you're all doing well. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season, a wonderful new year, and we will catch you in 2019. Take care.